Math majors, math professors, and math people, they're all very interesting. I think they have a lot of stigma and stereotypes about them. A lot of thoughts are thought about them. I was a math major, I'm a math teacher, I'm a math person. I think a lot of these things maybe some people thought about me. So in this video I want to talk about lots of myths of math majors and math persons and just some of the stereotypes that go along with it. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Brian. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Math majors are so unique, right? I actually don't necessarily think that. The first myth that I have about math majors is that you have to be really smart. I remember one time I was overhearing a conversation about a bunch of my fellow classmates. It was I was a freshman and they were all talking about what majors they want to be. It was for a calculus class that they were having this discussion and many of them were engineers. They wanted to be engineering majors or maybe some science majors like bio and chemistry, that sort of thing. And I remember them saying, you know, if I was just really smart or if I really just wanted to pick a hard major, I'd just pick a math major. And I thought, huh, sounds about right. Now I'm not saying being a math major is for everyone, and I'm not saying that it doesn't require a level of competency, but at least in my case, I thought there were probably way harder majors out there than math majors. I thought plenty of things were a lot more challenging, or at least seemed a lot more challenging to me. Maybe I don't really know what I'm talking about, but some of the engineering majors, some of the medical fields, some of the sciences, I mean, to me, they seemed way harder than being a math major. It seemed like you had to be a lot smarter. I think so many people misunderstand what math is about and it's so stigmatized that if you're majoring in math or if you're a math professor, you must be crazy intelligent. And I'm here to tell you that that is just, just not always the case. I kind of think of math as just like anything else that's a challenge. You don't have to be exceptionally talented at it. You have to probably like it somewhat and you have to be willing to put up with it. You just have to put in the work. It's like anything else, you know, it's, it's a skill. It's a muscle. The more you work at it, the better you get at it. I think anybody that wants to be a math major can probably do it. I mean, if you're the person that's gotten into college, if you're a person that has gotten this far, you can probably complete any major you want as long as you set your mind to it and organize yourself. Now, there definitely are plenty of brilliant mathematicians out there. I will not deny that. But I think to be a math major, to be a math person, you don't have to be the most brilliant person in the world. Myth number two about being a math major is that there's a lot of calculation in it. I know in your first few math classes, probably in all your high school math classes, or even in college when you take calculus or statistics or those intro, what I would call intro college math classes, you're doing a lot of calculations, you're doing a lot of algebra, arithmetic even, and people will sometimes think that that's pretty much what mathematicians and math majors do all day. Yeah, math does have those things. It's certainly a part of math, but once you become a real math major, once you become a mathematician, calculations are a very small part of what you're doing. I mean, that's what computers are sort of for. I mean, anytime I have to do a calculation, in anything I'm really doing, I'm not gonna do it by hand. I mean, I'm just gonna throw it into the computer. The computer is probably more right than I am. <laughs> Most of what you're doing as a math major is logical thinking. You know, you make an assumption, you come up with some definitions, and you draw conclusions from those things. That's what you're doing. You're doing reasoning. You're not doing so much of the plug and chug mathematics that you're doing in high school or early college. It's funny, just the other day, I was sitting down with some of my family friends to have dinner, and I was asked, because I was a math person, to calculate the tip, you know, make sure the numbers add up, and yeah, okay, I'll do it for you. Uh, that's not really what I do. I don't do a whole lot of addition and, and arithmetic. And to be totally honest, I'm, I'm actually a little bit bad at arithmetic. Don't, don't tell anybody. But yeah, it's, def it's definitely not my stronger area of expertise. Myth number three is that all mathematicians, math majors, math people are nerds. Yeah, okay, probably a lot, a lot of math people are nerds. There's lots of nerdiness that is associated with it. But n no way, I've, I've met so many math people and there's plenty of them that are not even nerdy. Like you wouldn't even know 
that would be the last major you'd guess for them. Like I've known many people who are very, you know, they're whatever the opposite of a nerd is, and yet they're a math major. They don't seem nerdy at all. Again, it's like, it's just exactly what you would stereotype a math major as. I think there's just as many people who are the exact opposite. I'll admit I'm probably much on the nerdier side, but like I said, I think I've met just as many people who aren't. Myth number four of the math major is that the only thing you can do with a math degree or with mathematics is teach. And that's just not true. I think a lot of people think, well, when am I ever going to use math? I guess I could be a math teacher. It's so much more than that. Nowadays, employers are looking for analytical thinkers. You know, they're looking for problem solvers. That's what math is. Math is problem solving, analytical thinking, rigorous skill and challenge and getting it done. That's what math is. A lot of times employers will just sort of list a bunch of majors that they deem acceptable for the position. I've seen jobs for financial analysts or actuaries, statisticians, working with big data sets, programmers, and the degree you're supposed to have could be in any one of those fields specifically. They could be in math, physics, economics. It's sort of just like as long as you have an analytical background, maybe you have some job experience, decent grades, yeah, you could be a candidate. There's lots you can do with mathematics. The government loves hiring mathematicians. Obviously, universities, teachers, schools, these are all places and people that like hiring math people, but there's so much more than that. All you have to do is dig around, do a Google search. You can find plenty of jobs that will hire math majors. The fifth myth of the math major is that they have bad social skills. Now, I have met lots of math people who might have bad social skills, but again, I think I've met just as many that have great social skills, people that being a math person is the last thing you would have ever expected. Some professors I've known that are math professors are the absolute nicest, kindest, most personable people I, I, you could ever hope to meet. And you know, it just doesn't fit with the stereotype whatsoever. They're just, they're just not, they're great with people. Again, I think probably I'm much, I'm more on the stereotype that I'm maybe a little bit awkward, I will admit. On the flip side of that, I've had people that I've tutored and worked with, and they've said something like, you know, you're not like a math person at all. And I'm like, what does that mean? And they say, well, you know, I can talk to you and you're a person. I'm like, yeah, most every math major is. The sixth myth of a math major is that they are quiet and introverted. And I guess that sort of goes along with the last one, although I think being quiet and introverted is totally different from having bad social skills. Many math majors are loners. The type of work you're doing is very individual. I say math is an individual sport, but on the flip side, and what I've said with all of these, is for every introverted math person I've ever met, I've met an extroverted math person. I just don't think that because you're a math person, that means you're shy or you're a loner. It really just depends on you. And I think that's what this whole video comes down to. All of your qualities and who you are as a person is not defined by your major. Maybe this video turned into, I am a little bit of these things too much, but I am an introvert. But just because I'm an introvert, I don't think you could tell that just because I'm a math major. Certainly these things are true sometimes, maybe even frequently. My argument is just that they are not the rule. It doesn't happen every time. That's why they're sort of myths. I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually want to know what do you think? In your experience, are these myths or are these facts? Is this how it is? Please let me know in the comments below. I really want to know what you think. Thanks very much for watching to the end and I hope you have a great day.